I'm trying to fix this. Yes, perfecto. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, so I'm actually yes, I'm back home. The kids are home. I've dropped uh, our family friends kids at the home and I've brought Moses home and Diana is downstairs and I can hear them fighting but I'm going to ignore it because I need peace of mind and tranquility and just you know I need to catch a breath man ah this kids ah uta cheesy uta but let me tell you something kids have taught me so okay so first of all today uh i was telling you guys tuesdays are my free days and on my free day is when i dedicated to the kids mostly dinah because she's not yet in school so i'm just i've decided to make time for this child because she might just be going to school anytime and the way she's behaving she looks like she won't be needing me like that so i've decided to just make more time for me and her mostly me and her if i have dates if I can incorporate her, the better. If I can't, chances are high that I will not make it. So don't look for me on Tuesdays unless you want me and Dinah combined. Yes. Also, um, today's the day I pick Moses up. So my schedule on Tuesday is such that I'll be back home latest by three. Or, yeah, latest. Because I can come and pick Moses. I can hear them. The Lord should touch me. Guy, oh, Toto, by the way, Munajizi, you like you go crazy. So I have to come back home by three. I'm in Moses, Moses school. So that school on Tuesdays, latest you can pick him is 3 30. And let me tell you, this school is so serious on picking up. If I come, if I get them kiddo for for something, they make me sign somewhere. I don't know where, what happens, but I don't like being that parent because i'm like a parent now because okay i'm already a parent okay apart from like diana like actual parental duties come in when now you're going to school they're calling me and shit so the teacher calls me once in a while she has my number i'm in the parents whatsapp group alongside my parents because apparently my parents and their age some things or not sound, sound like this they'd forget things like assignments that were posted in the group sometimes they don't even check all the post in that group and it's actually um very important so some days they sleep on something so the teacher is like you know what when they need to add you so at least you guys go at that so at least <laughs> like you guys it's, it's it's normally so embarrassing but i feel like i understand my parents they're, they're in a point in their life where uh, before moses my brother tevin has just finished high school so you can imagine the stage they're at they're in that space where they're now thinking of building more and just making more. They're they're in that they're in the late forties, early fifties. You know, but but could retire. But you know, it's also coming. It's not like it's not far. It's not like it's far, but it's also coming. And then there's so much to do. And I mean, that I guess this is the time they're trying to really enjoy life because maybe they're like, oh wait, we didn't enjoy life back then because we were raising kids. Especially my mom, she's at that stage where she's like. I raised kids and now I need to be having fun. You guys, do you like my wig? <laughs> it looked nicer when I was leaving the house. Now, I can just hear her screaming. Also, she's been plated by my mom, so no salon yet, but I want to try because I want some different hairstyles. And in fact, for my mom to plate her, it takes a really long time to just get a few braids on her head because and that takes forever also yeah so today what happened went to junction had lunch at big square big square i love big square and at big square i eat nothing i always just eat pork and fries period so that's what me and diana had in a milkshake and then we took her to jungle something and she played for like an hour so it's an hour for 700 bob and then 
I couldn't shoot most of the, the time there because she was the another one child joined her and they were playing together and I can't shoot people's children without their consent and I didn't even think of going to start introducing myself. Oh, and this is what I do. No, 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 no. It's just safer to not post people's children. I don't take uh, photos of people's children. And yeah, that's just it because I wouldn't want someone to be taking photos of Dinah when she's playing. I mean, that's invading their privacy and it's just risky. Anyway, so what's this, what Dinah and Moses are teaching me, I, first of all, they're teaching me to be very patient. So Dinah teaches me patience in terms of kids can really try your patience. Um, Moses and Dinah fight a lot. Like it's crazy. A screaming, Dinah is scratching him and it's like you might want to spank someone real badly and for me i'm not i've, I've never beaten Dina. i'm big on trying to talk to her and trying to make her understand and things like that and also my parents don't beat moses because i mean you can see 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 to the chap but you know this new generation but yeah we try okay let me just say i'm trying different kinds of discipline with the kids because yeah, I'm just learning to be more patient because anytime I feel like I want to beat Dinah or Moses, it's when I'm mad. It's like I'm pissed and I don't like it like that because when I get mad, I get mad, legit pissed. I get so mad. So I realize, no, I don't want to beat them when I'm in that place because that will need to be correcting them. That will actually just letting my anger out on them and I don't want that. So I become very patient with kids. Generally, with people, I'm very patient now. But as I could not tell I can't take some nonsense. But as I know, it's BS. Now you're in, ah, no. But I'm actually very patient, and I very, I'm much more understanding than I was before. Yeah, and also my finances. <laughs> you guys, because of these kids, I put, I make, I really try. I'm thinking so much about my money. Like I am thinking so like let me tell you, I've always been that girl who loved making money and I just love money and things like that. But since I became a mom, I'm always thinking about okay, I need to be making more because in a near future this and this is happening, then I is growing and things like that. And it's go it's becoming really crazy. I I, I don't even know what to do because I'm just like, you guys, and it's it's something that can make you easily uh down, spiral downwards and maybe become depressed or something but then i'm just learning to be patient with also myself and learning to trust the process and also focusing on the future like i'm writing down my goals and i'm really focused on them so that's another thing they've taught me to just trust the process trust the damn process why Dinah was born seven months prematurely she was premature seven months and she was in the incubator for two weeks and then I was not sick and we came home then I grew and afterward the doctor was always we were really close to the doctor so almost weekly visits for the first month like weekly visits check her weight and things like that and then and at that time I really really trusted the process I legit trusted the process and it got to a point where I didn't know where things would come from like what can I say I didn't know where I got the energy to even be the strong mom that I was. Because I remember that time, I wasn't even sad. I was actually so happy, like, oh my God, I finally have my child, she's healthy, and things like that. And to other moms, when I went back to hospital, having a premature baby was like, they'd cry, and I was like, did I miss the memo? But I understand that people take things differently, and maybe for me, because she was my first child, this is all I knew. Like, I don't know, if I ever decide to get a second child if i ever think about it because i don't think i want to get a second child um or a third or, a, or anything i don't want to have other children <laughs> but if i think i ever get to that point i think i will be uh if i get a big baby it will be a new experience for me so i think that's the thing with the not when you're not really a new mom because every time you get a baby you become a new mom but i mean when this is not your first child and then your first child came out at nine months and then your second comes prematurely, you'll probably panic because it's something so new to you. But you see, for me, as much as being have, being a first-time mom, this was all I knew. I mean, I had not had stories of premature babies, but I trusted the doctor and I trusted the process. And look at Dinah now. And honestly, she has grown so fast. 
and I can't even believe it. And Dana is so smart, you guys. She's so smart. You guys know that the smartness gene comes from the mom. Do you guys know that? So if your kids are smart, the mom is doing something right. Or no, the mom is smart. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so Dana is really smart. And anyway, so being a mom, you really learn to trust the process. And things like her teeth came when she was one year and something. And I just had to trust the process. Because what I do, how to work a kid as in the email or anything. Like you just need to trust the process and need to learn that every child is different. So you don't don't compare. That's another thing. I've learned to stop comparing people. Because everyone is different. I look at Dana and I look at Moses. Dana is very outgoing. Moses is a very chill child. And that's just how they are. I can't be forcing Moses all the time to go outside and play with the bike and things like that but Dana when I tell her mama turned danger it's so easy but for Moses he prefers to be at home he prefers to watch telly and things like that but I'm not trying to change that and buy more books so that he can read more and expand his knowledge but his teachers are telling me that he's really really smart I've actually met a teacher of his today okay a former teacher of his in school and the teacher is telling me this boy is super super smart and I was like what we need to keep nurturing this and yeah encourage him to read more so he can you know widen his vocabulary and be more confident i mean change of schools has really helped moses to become very very confident i don't know how Dinah will do in school because she hasn't really mingled with kids we don't have neighbors but to town i want to go to town anyway so at what stage will i take Dinah to school i don't know i'm thinking september but it's a job I'll be busy to talk, huh? Trust the process. <laughs> but anyway, um, Dana has also taught me to be grateful about everything. Let me tell you, my child, today, when you come and say, um, when you come and give her something, anything I buy, even if it's a book, anything, and I tell her, Mama, this is for you, she'll say thank you, and I'm like, <laughs> so I'm learning to be grateful, like for every little thing don't act as if you deserve it yes you might deserve it but just be like thank you be grateful go back to god and say god you know what i'm thankful i'm thankful for this family as much as we want to strangle each other i'm thankful for them because they're making me tougher as in you know something like that i'm really learning another thing is every time i come home or every time anyone comes home when you say hi to one person then i will force you to say hi to the whole family so it starts like she sees my dad and she runs, Daddy! And she gives, gives him a hug. Hey, hi, Daddy. Sasha, Copa. Mm. Daddy hug Mama. I'm Mama. So, Daddy hug Mama. Daddy hug Sharon. Daddy hug Mom. Daddy hug Vero. Like the whole house. Regardless, my, my, my baby forces the whole house to say hi to each other and hug each other. Like in the morning when you wake up, it's like, Hi, Mama. When you give her a high five, she tells you high five Moses, high five Tavin, high, high five the whole damn family. So I'm learning. You see what? I am learning. Because, you know, that greeting might just change someone's mood. It genuinely might. And I feel like we're a, a better family because of that. And another thing I've learned is being honest. Lena has taught me honest. I'm telling you. Lena will just tell you, mm-mm, no. Turn it to Lale, no, mama. Like, she just tell you the truth. Honestly, I don't sleep. And she even tells you sometimes, I asked Taki Kulala now, I went to Kulala and you're like, wow, must be nice. But you see what? That's what it's in her heart. It's the truth. She just tells you, no, I don't sleep with you, and sleep with a nanny. And know what? There's nothing I need to do about it. You're just going to sit down, humble yourself, and accept. Um, it's it's a new concept of I, I always say being an adult, we don't say the truth a lot. Um we just try to hide behind trying to please other people. And honestly, you guys, it's so much easier to just be you. Like, it's just so much easier to speak your mind. It might hurt someone, but that's how you feel. So what I try to do these days is I try to communicate everything I'm feeling about someone. Like when I start, when someone can, when someone is in my life and I really feel some type of way, I really try to communicate it with you. And... If it's not that I just cut you off, um, if my friend has hurt me, actually tell them, um, hi, when you said this, I didn't like it and it made me feel a certain way. 
and i feel like it's made my friendships so much stronger and let me tell you every other day i have like these days i started last week i have a schedule of when the friends of mine i don't see every day and the friends of those friends i don't see them i barely talk to them but they've been such core what can i say they've been very important in my life they've held me down and things like that and i don't like breaking off some yeah so saying um i actually have a schedule on i put a reminder and tell myself hi text candy today um text trixie today so that i remember to just check on my people and so if you see me just popping out of the blues just know i thought about you and i put you in my schedule and yeah it's just good to check on people how are you how are you doing and things like that i'm actually very big on friends and very big on family so that's what i'm doing this year i'm really loving my people in the most intentional way that i can i told you the word for this year is being intentional i'm being very intentional in everything that i'm doing yes 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 anyway so generally my child has made me become a better person i feel like wendy now and wendy two years ago very different this wendy is so much better she's such a go-getter she's not really afraid of saying what she thinks she's also um very courageous she really um i feel like this new girl is ambitious and she's okay with being ambitious like as ambitious but then sometimes people will try and put you down and i was going down when i was putting me down and i was going to that place where they were putting me but now this is different she took her power back i know what i actually don't care I, yeah that's another thing i become such a don't care and it's actually such a good thing because i mean i have so much peace the only thing that i'm really struggling with is fatigue i am always always tired i don't know if i should work out i don't know if i should swim more if i should go to the gym i have no idea maybe i should get a massage but you know what I'll, 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 I'll deal with maybe getting a massage because you know also that costs money and I'm trying to think school fees, diapers, it's a lot, it's a lot. I'm getting money, yes, but anyway, so yeah, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to, the, to my channel if you haven't and yeah, let's see you guys in the next video. Also, comment down below and tell me what your children, your nieces, your nephews, your cousins the little ones have taught you and yeah what valuable lessons do you think they've taught you and what can you take home what can you share with us and yeah let's see each other in the next video and i love you guys so much